What's bacon fam? It's your boy Shank Muffin here, and in today's video, we'll be going over an experiment to see how much potential money I can earn through Wrath Rune's room crafting. Wrath Runes were originally not part of old school RuneScape. They were actually introduced when Dragon Slayer 2 was released, and because of this introduction, they require quite a high rune crafting level 95 rune crafting is required to make these runes and you know that they are expensive and the reason why they're expensive is not because of the level requirement but also these runes are used to cast the highest level normal spellbook combat spells now because of this they do lots of damage and they're somewhat sought after because they're actually sometimes used for ice demon raids and with this, I thought of this experiment. How many wrath runes can I craft in a three hour period to see how much potential money I could make? Now, before we get started, there's actually a gear setup for this method. And the reason why there's a gear setup is because when you see in the first trip, you have to go through some dragons. And this is the gear setup that I'm using. A Wrath Tiara because you can't access the altar without one. A Xerox Talisman for teleporting to the closest bank that I can get to. My Construction Cape to get my energy back up. Weight reducing clothing such as a graceful top and bottom. Dust Battle Staff for using the Lunar Spellbook to contact an NPC such as the Dark Mage in the Abyss in order to fix my room pouches. An Anti-Dragon Shield. Uh, Boots of Lightness. Barrow's Gloves for defense, and a Ring of Suffering imbued for defense. As you can see of the items that uh, I'm flashing right now on the screen for the slots to equip in, there's a better loadout by far. You can actually go with a Dragonfire Ward that gives you tons of defense and it just negates pretty much all the damage from the Dragonfire when you're running past the dragons. People sometimes wear a regen bracelet because that requires you not to go to a player-owned house to uh, drink from your spec pool. So that means that less teleporting, so more running, so you don't have to worry about your HP being low. People wear max capes, or the HP skill cape, or the crafting cape, the HP skill cape for more healing over time, because that stacks with the regen bracelet. The crafting cape, because that gives you the availability of teleporting to the nearest bank in the entire game in the crafting guild. And the max cape, which acts as, of course, every skill cape in the game. So that means the crafting cape and the rune crafting cape are combined. So that means fastest teleport, as well as all your pouches will not degrade. So, there's actually a very optimized setup for this, but I don't have the levels nor the money to do this. So, fair warning guys, I don't have the optimal setup, so the amount of money that I could be earning is going to be decreased. As for my inventory, this is pretty straightforward, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to roll with the four room pouches in here, a mythical cape, so I can teleport to the Mist Guild to get to the altar. And I'm going to use my room pouch when I need to, to call upon the Dark Mage. And I don't need Staminas because I got the Construction Cape. Let's get into it. So this is how the trip is going to go. It's actually fairly simple. You know, just go into the bank, take all the essence out, put it in my runes, teleport to the Myths Guild. Once I'm there, you just immediately click on the Mythic Statue. And then this is the part where you need the Anti-Dragon Shield and a little bit of tank gear. There's red dragons here, there's blue dragons here, there's also green dragons over there on the right, but they don't actually hit you. I'm pretty sure of the times I've done this, I've done this for a little bit, but these black dragons though, they do hit big, they do hit a little hard, and I've I've gone down to 13 HP before. But and yep, as you can see, someone's with a max cape here because, you know, that's the best thing you can use. Click on the altar, pretty simple, shift, click, out of the pouches, and then teleport to the raids bank, and back to it again. All right, everyone, the first hour of the three hours for this experiment is completed, and we have earned for this hour 3,433 Wrath Runes, and I've earned 27,500 Runecrafting XP. Well, guys, hour two is nearly complete. Just have to empty out this large pouch, and we have done it. Hour two done at 3,378 Runes crafted and 27,000 XP earned, so just about 
uh, maybe a little bit more, but it's 27,000 XP earned according to the XP tracker. That is the end of this experiment, guys. Three hours of Wrath Runes room crafting has been completed for a total of 3,485 Wrath Runes for this trip. So let's see the total amount of Wrath Runes I have crafted within this three hour period. The total amount of Wrath Runes that I have crafted comes out to 10,296 at a value of 4.3 million GP as of May 30th, 2019. Now, of those three hours, it was an average of 3,432 per hour. So it makes this method a little bit over 1.4 million GP per hour. Anyways, guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any suggestions or would like to say anything at all, feel free. I always read your comments, so comment down below. Anyways, guys, my name's Shanka Muffin. I'm signing out. Please enjoy this outro.